Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from a sort of interest in life.com and today you're joining me on a classic Dan Brown biking route. This is the route that I always talk about and some of you may have seen this route covered before on bike and boot and goodness knows what other form of transport I can come by. But I wanted to do a quick video just going down these roads at the height of summer just so you can see it all properly full with all of the summer growth in the hedgerows and so on. And basically the whole idea of this is I just recorded a huge 20 minute clip of pretty much the entire ride out into the rural area. And hopefully, in about six months' time, in the middle of winter, I will remember to do the exact same bike ride, record everything, and then link up the clips and match up the clips of the middle of winter to see how much all the hedgerows have died back. And basically, it's a before and after sort of uh, shot, I suppose. But rather than one single photo, it's an entire video clip series. So I thought we'd have a repeat of this bike trip. And don't worry, I've got loads of bike rides and all sorts sorted and that to come for the future I think as I record this there's already two biking videos uploaded already but I just wanted to like I say make a summer a documented version of this bike ride so I've got all of the footage everybody's seen this video in the middle of summer as well and hopefully, like I say, we'll have some interesting results. And as you may notice from various places along the sides of the hedgerows here, that in typical fashion, probably by maybe a week or two, I ended up missing the absolute height of all the growth hanging over into the road. And you can see that there's a lot of dead grass and that where uh, one of the tractors has been down here with the hedge cutter to cut away a lot of the overgrowth and overhanging um, general greenery and shrubbery and goodness knows what else. So that's typical, but I'm sure, or I'm certainly hoping that Doing these roads in the middle of winter when everything's turned to just twigs and sticks rather than bushy actual trees with leaves and so on, it will hopefully be a very different environment to have a look at. And so really, like I say, I'm not going to labour the point too much in this video, but as I've said previously, this is the roads that I've walked down, I've biked down, and just, well, I mean, for years and years and years, hundreds and hundreds of times at the absolute very least I've walked in and out to my friends houses out at Western Rin before I had the boat and then since getting Tilly spending me winter mornings out in the Cheek area I've been in and out in and out to work to me friends to me family and yeah these are iconic places that I've seen many many times at every hour of the day and I mean, it's, oh, again, what a beautiful place to spend any time. Anyway, I'll wrap things up and say thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for another six months to see the follow-up video. Until then, though, please consider checking out my Boat Life books. Just search Amazon for the Narrowboat Lad or find links to that and Facebook and Twitter and all sorts of other stuff in the description below. Until the next time, keep it bike-worthy, keep it boat-worthy, and of course, farewell.